Do you know where your food comes from? Your dashin, tomatoes, yams. Well, most of the food that you purchase in this and other markets across Jamaica is grown by farmers. But you know, farming is no easy task. Ask any farmer. Today, we'll be visiting with some farmers in the Riamina watershed in the hills of Clarinda. And they will share with us some of the challenges that they experience while trying to put food on our tables. Come on, let's go. Tasha, see you next week. The Rio Mineral Watershed in Clarendon, Jamaica is home to Jamaica's longest river, the Rio Mineral which is approximately 93 kilometers. In the upper section of the watershed lives farmer Blair, who along with many farmers make a living by growing a wide range of crops including cabbage, kalilu and peppers. However, farming in this area is not without its challenges. Farmers in the watershed have to confront the direct and indirect impacts of climate change. Rainfall is the only source of water supply for the farmers in this area. But based on climate projections, these farmers might be in for a rude awakening due to changes in the rainfall pattern and the increased frequency of drought. Take for example this pond, which is normally 20 feet deep. It has now been reduced to a mere 5 feet because of drought. Warning, warning, warning. It's like a gambling when we, when we farm, when the rain is, because we have excess rain, long rain. Whenever it's dry, we have long drought. So right now you don't even know when to put in whatever to put in the, in the, in the soil, in the crop, the, 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 the crops. It's hard to predict. Because even three years back, this time we couldn't even have chopped on this land. Because we'd be get, as you see, May step in, rain, rain, rain. May, June, you know, we always get a lot of rain. But you know, for the past, like for the past two and a half years and stuff like that, just like this. I tell you, when we have drought, I have a pond that I um, pump water from to wet the, 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 the farm. And whenever that, that pond is dry, then we have to pump water from the big lake here to fill those pond. And it, it is really, it is really costly. The experiences of farmers in the rim in the watershed are common to that of most farmers in Jamaica. This is because like many other small islands in the Caribbean, Jamaica is highly vulnerable to climate risks. It touches and concerns every ministry. And in fact, one of the things we are going to do is to advocate that there is a, a line, a budget line in each ministry that is making provisions for climate change. Over the last 12 years, the country has been impacted by 11 storm-related systems, which have caused severe damage and losses to the economy. The effects of climate change on communities like these in the Rio Mina watershed have to be understood and addressed in order to build the resilience of Jamaica. This is exactly what the pilot program for climate resilience seeks to do. Jamaica is one of six pilot countries in the Caribbean benefiting from the pilot program for climate resilience. The others are St. Lucia, Dominica, Haiti, Grenada, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There are three objectives to the pilot program for climate resilience. There are one, improving the quality of climate information for decision making at the national and local levels. Two, mainstreaming climate change adaptation in development planning. And three, improving access to climate financing. This type of programmatic approach or integrated approach presents an avenue for financial institutions like the Inter-American Development Bank in collaboration with other partners to help uh, countries address the impacts of climate change. We have been able to install 20 automatic weather stations to improve the collection and management of climate data. And we want to be able to replicate, to scale up across the country, even across sectors. 
farmers in the Rio Mino watershed and the other areas of Jamaica cannot breathe a sigh of relief because they will not be left on their own to deal with the impacts of climate change. Now they can collaborate with the IDB and the government of Jamaica. Through programs like the Pilot Program for Climate Resilience, Jamaica is fast becoming the place of choice to live, work, raise families and do business. Thank <laughs> you.